Okay, I believe. I believe, Mshiman. <laughs> it's like four years for what? Four years for what if I'm not gonna be able to get inside the venue? <laughs> It's here, Pia the Melanin, the same chocolate here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, please do me a favor hit that subscribe button and don't forget the notification bell. To my returning subscribers, what's good for love? You will come back. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. Um, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Graduate. <laughs> oh my god, what a time to be alive! Let's start there, let's reflect. What a time to be alive. Um, as you can tell by the title of this video, today we're doing a story time of my graduation day. I really, really wanted to do um, a vlog, but a lot happened. A lot happened. A lot happened on that day, but dolls, and I ended up not even shooting content because, yeah, my content is not enough for that day. So rather than shooting, or the, <clears throat> rather than posting uh, an uncontenting, vlog i chose to do what let me just do a story time and i hope you're gonna enjoy that uh but without further ado let's just get straight to the video <laughs> um so firstly i want us to like unwrap this but i've already done that obviously uh these are my pictures from uj oh love them we got them from hold on i'm trying to get the name of the company I really don't see the name of the company, so I'm not gonna like stress myself about it. Anyways, it's not like I'm getting paid. <laughs> um, so these are the pictures, the stage pictures that we got. Um, they're super expensive, I'm not even gonna lie, child. But I love them so much, so I'm still gonna show y'all. Number one, introducing uh okay, let me do this. I don't know about the lighting charm, but I look so freaking cute. Let's look at this. Okay, no, I don't like this one, actually. Ooh, the cutly way. This is the one that I don't like because my face was just a bit nervous because this was before I did a stunt on the on the stage. So I was a bit nervous about that stunt. And then, ah, this was after the stunt. Really, really love it. Look at my face. Ooh, savage. Yes, queen. Uh, but this, I love it so much. I love the fact that it has... The graduation 2023 thingy. And then introducing her, your highness, uh, baby doll. Oh, I'll take a screenshot. Send it on my DMs. It's at CFP underscore S across all social media platforms. I freaking love this one. This one is literally my favorite. Love my smile. Love my face. The face bits was giving um love everything how everything was just organized i love this picture guys oh <laughs> i love this picture oh love you to oh my god i feel like i messed it up because literally now it has my claws why did i do that but i love this picture guys just wanted to show you those pictures that i got they were oh i forgot the the price i think 600 greens and we got also these ones so different sizes so yeah i don't know why that they did that um but yeah so that is all the pictures and everything now let's get into the story okay cool so my graduation was on the 16th of february no 16th of march uh 2023 so it was supposed to be not supposed to be it was at 9 a.m so it was very, very early in the morning first session of the day at UJ as 9 30 a.m so i was like okay bet so i stay like 45 minutes away from Joburg and like 50 to an hour away from auckland park an hour away from auckland park so obviously i had to be early right and they said to us you gotta be there 15 minutes before the start of your graduation we are closing the doors so which means or a past nine, you must be inside the venue. Okay, stop. Mutuerang. Ah, 4 a.m. I wake up. 
like, wake up. I'm like, yes, wake up, Mr. West, Mr. West, Mr. Bye, has ah, you understand? I'm hyped up. I start the vlog. I'm like, let's get into it. We've been waiting four years for this. Let's get into it. Hm. I wake up. I take a bath. My mom takes a bath. Um, and then I start like shaving because I didn't shave my chest actually. So like, I wanted my chest, my chest to be like smooth and it was giving it was like really really smooth okay you can't see from the pictures i wanted to show you so it was really really smooth did that and then i was like i'm gonna have makeup on this day i really wanna save your beauty you understand it's like bit um as one of my friends who's a beautiful makeup artist my photo um you can find it i don't know if i'm gonna leave her, her details on my social on my thingy on my description box yes i'm gonna leave her details on the description box so my friend was like okay baby girl come bet my face and then we agreed that by 5 a.m she'll be in my place because she has to do me and my mom and i chose a soft claim you understand but it was like bit so i wake up at five do everything at four rather 5 a.m baby girl is not here i call her she's like i'm coming can you also organize someone who's gonna fetch me um by the corner because i feel like i'm gonna be scared to come i'm like okay babe, it's no problem how 5 30 baby girl is still nowhere to be found she's not here i'm like what's happening and she gets here at like 20 to 6 so like 40 minutes later when she gets here i'm like friend what's happening she's like no problem with transportation really had a problem with transportation really really understood when she told me cool and then we start we said like okay start with my mom i'm like start with my mom so that when you're done with me we're literally just leaving i don't want to be waiting on someone you get okay she starts with the makeup does my makeup does my mom and then when she wants to do like i don't know she forgot so one thing she forgot her beauty blender you understand and i was like okay okay i don't have makeup things right i don't have a beauty blender i only have a foundation <laughs> so i go to my friend's place my friend is not in her place and then i go through her stuff i don't find the beauty blender they tell me go to ban, ban, ban. so now i'm running all over the the, the, the the township looking for a beauty blender at five at 6 a.m looking for a beauty blender don't find it and i'm so stressed because like what are you gonna do without the beauty blender i call my friend who's not in her place i'm like baby girl i need a beauty blender i can't find your makeup she's like my makeup is at home i'm like wait she's like at this particular place i'm like oh my god i should have called first before like going so i go to her place find the makeup bag and i find the beauty blender fine she start doing my mom does my mom does my mom and then my dad my dad arrives at seven right when my dad arrives uh i told him that at seven o'clock we're leaving so my dad is here at seven and we're not done with makeup so he's like he enters the house and like i'm coming back he goes out because we don't stay with my dad so we are getting out i'm like okay he, he lives when he leaves um i do my makeup bet my face bet my face bet my face then i check the time when i check the time so when i'm done with my face it's like all right to eight and i'm stressed i'm starting to pay it because time is not on our side okay cool i'm like tell my dad because i think i'm i all this time i'm thinking my dad is outside waiting for us so when they done with my face i'm like tell my dad that we're about to leave right now i'm gonna because i'm only left with like dressing up on top i'm done with the bottom part i'm just like up let's be done and let's leave you understand i'm not even stressing myself about um, what's that? Creating content at this point because I'm like, I'm freaking late. It's eight o'clock. We have one hour to get to Joburg. It's just, and I'm stressed about traffic and everything. I'm like, oh my god, can we leave? And they're like to me, baby doll, your dad is not outside. I'm like, huh? Say that again. Tell me that you're joking. Where is this man? It's like a dad is not outside. He left. I'm like, okay, please call my dad. Tell him that we're done. I'm literally waiting for him. I need to leave ASAP. They call my dad. My dad is like, um, I'm coming. Where are you? The tire best. Ah! It's like the shaky thingy. I would... <laughs> that is so dumb. I literally shake the table to add that event. <laughs> 
So like my dad is like, um, the tire burst. So I'm here fixing the tire. So literally, when I was done with my makeup, my dad noticed that it tired So when he noticed to go to tire al he had to go and fix it. Cause how the f are we gonna get to Joburg? So I'm like, what? And he's like, no, they are they they almost done with it. I'm coming now. So I'm like starting to panic. I wanna cry. Cause I'm like. Oh my God, I can't miss out. You understand? Okay, sure. I woke up at four. Five hours before my graduation. And now I'm freaking late. You understand? Hmm? My dad is at the place where they fix the tires. It's very close by. She, he's there. And then we're like, okay, let's like take a bit of content. I took some cute videos. I took this video. Add it up. Yes, um, took some videos, took some pictures, and then I'm like, time, it's 8 o'clock. I'm like, okay, I'm going to bolt right now. I'm literally bolting. I am leaving yo. I don't care at this point. I just want to see myself inside the venue because I don't understand. Why aren't we ditching this car? Let's ditch this car. We can get a bolt right now and get to Joburg. And when I say that, my mom is like, relax, your dad is coming. It's 8 o'clock. Hmm. Take how many? One hour to get to Auckland Park. And now we have only one hour, 15 minutes to be inside the venue. Not just at Auckland Park, but inside the venue. One hour, 15 minutes. I'm like, oh my God. Okay, cool. I'm my dad. I call my dad. I'm like, where are you? It's like 10 past eight now. He's like, they are done. I'm coming. Okay. I believe. I believe, Mushiman. <laughs> believe, Mushimani. Mushimani is like, I'm coming. Five minutes. 10 minutes, 15 minutes. It's now 25 past eight. He is not here. And then I called again. I was like, at this point, we might as well just leave it. Let's just stay at home because we're already so late. And he's like, I'm done. I'm literally coming now. I was, I was like, you've been saying that. You've been saying that. Where are you? Let me shang a you. Let me shang a you because I feel like it's going to take you so much time to get and to get home. Let me shang a you. Where are you? He's like, I'm just up the, up the road. So, you can walk, okay? Stop walking. We get to... I still like... I feel like... Also, guys, you all understand when I do story times, I make them detailed. So, it's gonna be a long one. <laughs> so, okay, we get to the car. The car is fixed. What time is it? Half past eight. We have 45 minutes to be seated at Joburg. Not at Joburg, rather. At UJ. Seated. It takes how many minutes? One hour to get to Auckland Park. <laughs> okay, sharp. My dad is like, ha, how kids na? Now get Michael Schumach. Who can get it today? My my dad drove. <laughs> so we on the way. We on N17. We're going to uh, to to Joburg. I'm literally just like checking the time every two seconds to see if like are we gonna make it? Are we not gonna make it? And I'm like, oh my god, I'm starting. I want to cry at this point because I'm just thinking at. How much I've spent for this particular day. And then I'm also looking at the four freaking full years that I went to um, UJ and only to not even make it on my graduation. Like it didn't make sense to me at all. It like, it felt so, I, I felt pain without even realizing that it's happening. I don't know if that even makes sense. I feel like English bundles are depleting. <laughs> so I'm like, so my friend, one of my friends calls me. Babe, where are you? I'm like, Disapuma Ekaya. Literally right now. Everyone is at UJ and only me. Besides me, rather. All my friends are already at UJ besides me at this point. I wanted to cry, bruh. And now my thing is, I want to cry, but do you want to mess up this face? This face! <laughs> All this time when I want to cry, I'm just thinking of my face and the pictures that I want to take at UJ. So I'm like, keep it together, keep it together. And then after two seconds, I'm like, oh, oh, no, I don't know. I don't. Hectic. So I also want to cry. Also, let me charge my phone, guys. I feel like this one is going to die on me now. Cool. So I'm like, this is just stressing me at this point. Um, what do we do? And then one thing, one thing I can say, guys, is one thing about God. God will listen to me. I said, what should I do? He said, listen to music, my child. 
and then started playing music uh my favorite at the moment gospel in terms of gospel music my favorite by and Togozo, I forgot the surname. As in Togozo, uh, Kylie Shekaila. So that's like literally the song that carried me through that ride to Joburg. Okay, we get to Joburg. When we get to Joburg, at uh, five post nine, probably five post nine. So we have ten minutes to be seated at UJ. And we get to Joburg, we get pulled over by the. Whee, 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 whee. I'm like, uh. Okay, when they pull us over, I'm thinking about a way to get to Auckland Park that is short. You understand? Because I know if I take the route that I'm used to, which is the taxi route, we are going to get there at 10 because there's traffic. So I want a route that is like on the other side. How? I check my data. My data is not working. Hakil, I don't have data. On a very important day, you don't have data. I'm like, okay, cool. I buy data same time after buying data. My data is not working. I tried everything. Uh, everything. Every single thing that I know to bring back network. It is not working. Everyone on the car does not have data. I'm the only person who has data and my data is not working. And I'm trying to find a way to get to Auckland Park. Sign. So we asked the policeman, Uhuri, um, which route can we take which will not um, lead us into getting into traffic and just get to Auckland Park as soon as possible. And it's like, just take the, the this particular route and what's so much you're going to get there. <laughs> we go. And then I can see that this is the route that he said we should take. I tell my dad, my dad was like, we're already late and you want us to take a route that we're not even sure about. Let's take a route that you know. Kaskirima. Gary. Oh my God, you're not listening to me. And the other one who's driving, there's nothing I can do. Okay, let's go. We continue going. Karut. A. A. Eating. And I'm like, okay, bits. I'm not going to go straight with that one. Let's take a, 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 a 10, I think, uh, in Main Street. Something like that. We take a 10 in Main Street and Joburg. Um, and then, immediately after getting in to in Main Street, and I'm thinking, uh, maybe I'll see if I know the street, because I don't know Joburg Parade. My data starts working. And then get okay, Auckland Park, it shows me the direction. I got my how to my robot. See, every time we get into a robot, the robot closes. When you get the robot closes, I'm like looking at the time. It's 10 past. Only five minutes to be seated at Auckland Park. Yeah! Come on, hurry, white the king. It's sharp. It's what? It's fine. My dad dries. And then Damn me, because I'm super stressed at this point. I missed the 10 that we have to take that will get us to uh, Mandela Bridge. I missed the 10. We're already up front. And I'm like, we can't go back. Continue driving. I'll see what we'll do when we are, when, wh wherever we end up. And then we ended up taking the routes from, um, if you know Joburg, the routes from Oriental Plaza. We passed by Oriental Plaza. Imagine. Passed by Oriental Plaza. Um, and then... We go. So now, after passing Oriental Plaza, robots were not a problem now. It was like... Vroom, vroom, vroom. And what time is it? It's quarter past nine. When I saw the time, that is like 9.15. It's fine. It's fine, Modimo. Harikenang. It's fine. In fact, talking about this makes me want to cry all the time. I'm like, it's fine. We're not going to get in. It's okay. No problem. We'll see next year. No problem. Because at this point, there's literally nothing we can do about it. And when I said that, and I was literally giving up, my dad guessed the car. He was driving as if I was going to give birth. <laughs> <laughs> he drove as if I was giving, I was gonna give birth. Like, it was like he could feel my pain, and he channeled all that pain into his foot and drove. And I remember at that point, I was like, my last prayer was like, but God, if only, if I can only just get inside the venue, if I can just make it in time to just get inside the venue at this point, because it's like. Four years for what? 
Four years for what if I'm not gonna be able to get inside the venue? Dad drives and I can see UJ now. I tell my dad, I'm like, you see, you know, right now I can see us being late with just one minute. Then we can literally see them closing the door when we get there. Yeah, boy. So I'm like, okay, but wait. But something says to me, try. I call my friends. I'm like, or I text rather. I'm like, Bavalil. And my friend is like, um, the time now is 20 past. So my friend literally took five, my, my dad rather took five minutes from um, Oriental Plaza to get to APK. Crazy. So five past, 20, 20, 20 past rather, so 35 minutes late. I asked my friends, um, did they lock already? And she's like, babes, it's not locked. Get here as soon as possible. Gary, I don't care whether get to work in Kaloyi or I don't care. But what I'm gonna do right now is to make sure that I'm inside that video. So if you didn't know, I'm doing my honors right now. <laughs> we'll get into that some other day. <laughs> I'm doing my honors right now. So I do have my student card and it's working. So instead of going to gate six, where we get inside when you're going for your graduation, I literally took gate two. I was like, when I asked my friend and she was like, it's not closed. We're literally passing by gate two. I told my parents, when I told my parents, they, my dad parked the car and they like run. It doesn't matter that we don't get in right now. Just run to the venue. And I felt bad, but at the moment it was like four years. You understand? four years and you have to freaking do it because it's four years um i opened the car took my graduation attire and ran i literally left the door open <laughs> my dad was like close the door i was like no i ran i ran so fast and remember that i <laughs> The last time I did any physical activity, did any gym for netball was last year. <laughs> so the stuff and I had yes last year, I don't have it now. I ran, I opened the gate using my, my bus card. I almost got knocked by a car. And I remember the security from gate two. He was like, Who's a Joshua? I didn't even care. Like I didn't care. I didn't respond to him. I felt like it was just gonna waste my time and my energy to respond to him. Sorry that I didn't respond to you if you ever hear about this. But I literally ran for my life. Another person was like, when I was running, you're so beautiful and you're late. I'm like, one fast three, come away. How shall we let morning? Don't I not see that I'm late? Why are you retelling me this? Because I'm already like stressed. Why are you raising my stress levels? Oh, I ran. And then I got there outside. So you also have to have go by the gates for the ticket so that you get the thingy, the wrist thingy, um, your ticket. I didn't go to that gate. When I got there, I was like, I'm already late. Where do I go? They gave me whatever you, it's your sitting card. You need to get your sitting card. Got the sitting card. And then I ran inside. So there are two doors. There's the first door and the second door. The first door, when I, after entering the second, the first door, I ran to get to the actual door to, of the auditorium. When I was running, someone was like to me, you're already in. Take a deep breath. I, I could not even hear that. I wanted to see myself inside the venue first before I could say, that's how I'm stressed, my makeup. You understand? I get inside the venue. Immediately after getting inside the venue, I wanted to just like lie down and cry. Because I was like, am I really inside? Like, am I really inside? And then it clicked to me that the doors are still open. I'm inside, but the doors are still open. And I'm like, I, I, I asked this one person, like the person, the people who are in charge of like, go here, go here, go here. I was like, hmm, what time are they going to close my, the doors? Because my parents are literally outside. They're like, your parents need to be here at exactly half past. Because at half past, we're not going to like open the doors anymore. Like when we close at half past, we close. Done. Done. I was like, okay, bitch. Quickly get got to my set, sat down. My friends are like, see ya. They're like, one, they shocked that I look beautiful. Period. Like, they're shocked that I look beautiful. Everyone is like, guess lighting me, you look so pretty, but I can't hear that. Or they're shocked that I made it in time. 
before they locked but now my main concern is my parents are outside of the venue i gotta get them here send my parents the thingy the tickets try to call them they don't pick up but i sent them the tickets because they they need the ticket to get inside the venue i was like get here they're gonna lock at at, at, at half past and i sat down when they closed those doors i was like what what's happening i kept like i kept on looking at the door expecting my parents to get inside but like it was like no ways like it's far first things first it's far sorry guys first things first it's far from where um they will get inside like gate six is far from or uh, 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 the auditorium to they don't know the direction <coughs> sorry they don't know the direction so it's also going to be difficult for them because they don't know the direction so i was like okay babes when they close the doors i was like my parents are not here i need to like just accept so i was like okay babes so for half of the ceremony i'm not even gonna lie to you all child uh, i'm not even gonna lie to you half of the ceremony i was not there i was not having it when they were saying their speeches and whatnot i was really not having it because i was not enjoying because i was like my parents are not here and they're not gonna see me crossing that 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 stage you understand um what else sorry so i started enjoying when i saw my friends going to the stage so when i started like screaming and shouting for my friends that's when i was like getting into like the celebration mode because i was not really in the celebration mode i was like too stressed stress my makeup is my makeup still like one thing i put my hot shape at my face and it Yo! Ya sala. Ya sali make up ya tula ya ti tu. Aftum kitchimo ya tula ya ti tu. I love it. Thank you, Tom. Thank you for making my day. Um, and then um, it was my time to get to stage. Got there. Um, and then before I walked, this person was like, the people, like, okay, kuna band abazoti, like, okay, next, next. So the person who was supposed to say next to me, She's like, she looked at me. She's like, are you okay? I'm like, no. My parents are not here. I'm really not okay. She was like to me, oh man, can I give you a hug? God bless her, to be honest. Because I feel like it did do something to me. To just know like there's someone there for me. So she gave me a hug. She was like, you'll be okay. I was like, thank you. And then we're like, there you go. This is your moment. Have it. Like, little giddy. I'm just going to insert the video. Period. Period, Mama. Period. I made sure. If there's one thing about me, I was like, my parents are not here. I want them to see Ogba. This is our son, who was who we are so proud of. And I was like, I'm gonna give you a show. I'm gonna give you a show so that you feel like you were them. Cause when I started, when when I literally walked on, when I started dancing in a way, I was like, I'm doing it for you. I am doing. It. I knew that I was gonna do a style, but when I did it. It was like extra thingy. I was like, Galaya. Galaya in the UK because I know what I found good things in Galaya for good things. I really enjoyed that moment. I'm not going to lie. Oh, also, back to a bit. Before I went to stage, I did try calling my dad. I tried video calling him so that he can see me when I cross with my parents, but they didn't pick up. They only called when I was already on stage and my phone was on, but on, the, on, on, on the chair right so i saw the missed call when i got back and it was like oh, okay bet. it's fine um i feel like my mood has like dropped a bit <laughs> i'm no longer celebrating because i'm thinking i like i think i'm experiencing Woo! i'm experiencing the feelings again which is crazy cool but one thing also that like was so good is how people like oh, people were so happy to see me dance <laughs> people were so happy to see me dance and it was just like giving. I fed 
on that energy like it was just giving me the energy was so good on the room when i crossed that stage and i love that and also when i was done taking this picture and getting my graduate no my certificates i don't know why i said my graduates <laughs> my certificate um i saw some of my friends uh parents and i'm like say yeah and, and to see them being happy just to see me it felt as if my parents were also in the room honestly i'm not even gonna lie it felt as if my parents were also there and we love that charm we really love that we enjoyed that moment but i just wanted to tell you all that story that i almost did not graduate um yeah i really almost did not graduate not really graduate i almost didn't make it to my graduation and it was just hectic and i feel like on that particular day so many things went wrong i probably left some because i don't know how but the fact from the tire bursting in fact from my friend forgetting a simple thing as a beauty blender which is something that she always has and has never made that mistake um to a tire bursting when we're supposed to leave to my data not working when we get to job work to missing the 10 you understand so so many things were just working against me i feel like so many things were working against me but god was like you gonna have your moment you gonna have your moment and i just appreciate him for that because i really had my moment enjoyed my moment but now i'm doing my post grade for my parents to be honest like i want them to be in that venue next time because i uh, uh, charm I feel like they didn't experience the full graduation. Shame my parents are so supportive. Like, they didn't even make me feel as if, ah, you weren't there alone. No. When we're done graduating, I went out to go and collect them, come back with them to take pictures. And then I took pictures with my friends firstly. They just sat on the grass and just waited for me. When I was done with doing everything, because like kids can celebrate. So I had to go take pictures with so many people, just greet so many people, have my appearance, you understand? And then go to attend my parents. They literally said and had no problem with that. We showed and came back, had lunch at home, uh, a surprise lunch. Everything just like was so good. My parents were so proud of me. My like it was so good. How my also peak of it all, I had makeup on. My dad looked at me as an angel and i was like giving so there's so many good things about my graduation i'm not gonna lie it's just that fact that my parents didn't get to see me i got there literally super late 10 minutes after the time they said they're gonna close but that is it honestly that is it um also if you want to see my pictures go to my social media account cfu underscore is i did post some of my pictures and yeah and also on my yeah on all social media platforms i think i posted also the big thing that was so good was when we came back i'm not gonna post the clip because the clip is actually i was not shooting with my phone um we're listening to gospel and just like having that moment with my family and just like thanking god together because we literally thanked god together i thanked god even when i got here i thank god every day for allowing me to have that experience i'm not even gonna lie child so it's like yes but now we are graduates we are honest students. We are suffering. <laughs> Yo, one day I'm going to tell you all about it. But I'm really, really grateful to be honest. I just wanted to tell you that. Because I really feel as if you should have been part of the experience. But do you think you would have logged when you were late? I don't think so. <laughs> I really don't think so. But thank you, my tools. Also, I'm officially back on YouTube obviously back you really really gonna get a lot um I'm, I'm i'm gonna be consistent i'm telling you all this now super consistency coming my way and i know i looked crusty today don't mind that child please don't mind that but without further ado please don't forget to like comment and share this video with your faves and your faves of your faves and your parents and your everybody and let's grow this channel also Thank you for 200 subscribers. Ooh, ciao. I forgot to thank you. When I saw this today, I was like, we reached 200. What? When did we? You understand? I'm so super grateful. Thank you to everyone who's supporting me. Continue supporting me. It's going to be a lovely journey. Um, we love it. We are back. And we are better. We are better. Last time to see the pretty face. Ah! <laughs> Graduate Kesana, the graduate signs out.